real busy at the Cummings house. And now that the wood floors are all finished, it's time to do the tile. Ooh, this is exciting. Yeah. We have a mudroom. You didn't see what it was like before. I did not. It was like orange and brown shag carpet on the wow. floor and on the shelves all the way to the ceiling. Really? Yeah. But they'll like this very much. I mean, are you here to do all the tile for the house today? Like, are you ready to do the backsplash in the kitchen too? Or are you just doing laundry room today? I'm doing laundry room today, but I'd like to get some ideas on how you want to do the backsplash. I got four designs laid out. Okay, well, I'm going to guess which one okay. you're going to pick. Okay. All right. Let's, let's do it. Oh, you got it laid out over here. I do. Hmm. Mr. David thinks he can guess what tile pattern I've chosen. That's only laid out like four patterns. He did. One and two are a little bit modern. Right. Which makes sense with a mid-century house. We've got the very classic running bond. Right. Who doesn't love running bond? Herring bone. This is a little bit more fancy. It is fancy. <laughs> the most complicated backsplash available. If it were me, I wouldn't have presented it to us. Mm. So I'm going to predict which one you're going to choose, either one through four. Am I that predictable? I'm getting to know you pretty good. Okay. So one through four, which one? I'm going with herringbone number four. There it is. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. I'm sorry. But there's a reason for it. Okay. I feel like because we have so much white everywhere, right. and we've got this white marble look tile, it would fall a little flat if we don't do something a little more visually interesting with it. So right. taking white but putting it in this herringbone pattern jazzes it up a little bit. White is what's going to make Miss Karen happy, but to have a little visual interest is what's going to make me happy. <laughs> 